MI5 ex-director Stella caught Meg warning Harry his mic was dropping in the Jubilee. Harry, your mic's on show. Many sources claim that Meghan and Harry were both wearing microphones during the Platinum Jubilee, which would explain why the other royals stayed away from the couple. Of course, most of the royals were incredibly busy during the Queen's Jubilee, but the late Queen still sent people to monitor Harry and Meghan. In addition to Lieutenant Colonel Johnny Thompson, there was another formidable figure behind the Harkles' seat, quietly observing them, but Meghan probably didn't know her. Although the Jubilee incident was a long time ago, a clip from the event was recently unearthed showing Meghan reminding Harry that his mic was about to fall out of his suit. Harry, your mic's showing, Meghan whispered with a glance and spots it. Then Harry tried to push the mic deep into his shirt. It's shocking how Meghan made that fake face of love, eyelash batting and all, as she condoned something so evil in such a historical place, at such a historical event. It's giving her physical and emotional pleasure to point out his microphone, she thinks that it demonstrates her insider knowledge, even though she probably masterminded it. Well, Harry wore a hidden microphone at a family event, let a global event, in the hopes of secretly recording the private conversation of his kin so that he can sell it for personal profit. Meghan manipulated him into believing that the two of them surreptitiously recording private conversations is somehow less intrusive and disgusting than what the media did to him when they listened to his voicemail. It's not. It's actually worse. Violating the trust of your own family and secretly recording them for content for Netflix and then suing the media for hacking into your voicemail for content for articles shows a level of delusional hypocrisy that's pathological. Meghan knew Johnny monitoring them, but she didn't know the lady sat next to him is from MI5. The lady is Stella Rimmington, who's former Director General of MI5. And on the other side was the ex-head of MI5, Sir Andrew Parker. The lady was on Johnny's right and Parker was on Johnny's left. Stella gave Stoney of a stare as to the one Sophie gave Meghan before. Ever wondered why both Johnny and Sir Andrew Parker, ex-head of MI5, were sitting directly behind them? Coincidence? No, not a chance. That really shows how serious the security breach was viewed by the family in Buckingham Palace to have them both surrounded. It was MI5 and MI6 who were concerned that Harry and Meghan had turned into a massive security risk. They had access to all sorts of conversations, even if just by hovering around high-level people who might be casually and quietly discussing matters of state. Jubilee's UK security would be able to brilliantly deaden devices because their recording devices they used looked like ones used for TV, not for intelligence gathering. For example, the US's FBI and CIA and the UK's MI5 and MI6, which is much smaller, much more sophisticated and capable. Also, while waiting to enter St Paul's Cathedral, a recording device was clearly visible on Meghan Markle. A black cord was running from under a hat to under a collar, and she kept fiddling with it before they entered the church. Also, a profusion which resembled a nipple was visible on the right side front of a dress, probably a microphone. They both kept fiddling with whatever they had concealed during the ceremony.